You're watching News 54. On our news just in, it has been reported that Team Master, blogger Edgar Abair is in trouble. Earlier yesterday on Edgar's Instagram stories, it was communicated that he had been arrested following a recent expose he did on Governor Dr. Alfred Mutwa. Things have taken a different angle after DCI's social media accounts reported that their investigations have concluded that Edgar has been training or rather coaching ladies on how to trap and stalk prominent persons with the aim of blackmailing them into paying large sum of amounts. In a recent case, Edgar is accused of coaching the lady who came out in his platform claiming that Dr. Mutwa had impregnated and abandoned her. The DCI Twitter page captioned and I quote, in a case of outright blackmail by fraudsters who intend to benefit financially from prominent personalities, by tainting their images online and demanding money not to post scandalous information about them, detectives have once again arrested serial fraudster, Edgar Abair. The suspect who has had previous run-ins with the law for publishing false and malicious information regarding individuals and their families is once again a guest of the state. Detectives from the Cybercrime Unit have uncovered an underworld network of criminals involving jobless young ladies recruited by Edgar, to stalk prominent personalities in the political, business and religious circles for monetary exploitation. They ladies are then coached step by step by Edgar, on how to ensnare the victims into their traps then extort unimaginable sums of money from them. In the current case facing the fraudster, one Desio Duora his go accused, had been coached how to stalk a prominent governor with the hope of extorting 10 million Kenyan shilling from him. Edgar had shared the governor's number with her and instructed her to tell him that she was pregnant for him and that she would tell the whole world about their little secret. When the governor did not respond, she was instructed to threaten him that she would share photos that they had allegedly taken in compromising situations but the governor did not respond. Dejected that their plan wasn't working, Edgar took to his social media pages accusing the governor of impregnating a lady and failing to take responsibility. The supposedly pregnant lady wasn't aware that all along, Edgar was taking screenshots of their conversations which he posted alongside his claims. Fearing the repercussions of Edgar's actions, she reported the matter to DCI offices in Nyali. Detectives have since established that the lady isn't pregnant as she had claimed. Further, the lady has said that she has never met the governor, adding that she had only been recruited by Edgar, to extort money from the governor. She has since been arrested alongside her tutor Edgar and they will face publishing false information charges, contrary to 2nd.23 of the Computer Misuse and Cybercrime Act, 2018. Young ladies are advised to be wary of such fraudsters out to exploit them for their selfish gains and are advised to find alternative sources of income. Anyway, stay tuned as we bring you more developing stories.